Hello everyone and welcome to a new After Effects Expressions tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this space scene with a force field animation. As you can see the starship has like this sort of a force field around it that pushes the planets away. You'll be able to control the strength of this force field as well. So let's get right into it. Alright, as you can see here I have my composition. Uh, I have my spaceship and I have this uh, circle like a uh, force field animation, right? If I move the spaceship around, you can see the planets are reacting to its position, okay? And I can also increase the strength of this force field, as you can see, like this. It's quite strong and the planets will move accordingly, or also I can make it very weak and the planets will not move as much. Uh, we can animate this spaceship of course moving around the planets and we will do that shortly but first I want to explain you how to achieve this effect. This effect is achieved basically by an expression on each planet's position and the expression will calculate the distance to the spaceship and based on that distance it will move the planet around if the spaceship is closer than the deflect radius that this uh, will control the, the strength of the force field so let me show you the expression at work i have this demo composition with just one planet and i'm going to show you how the expression works in detail so as you can see i have the planet with an expression on the position this is the expression that controls how much the planet will move based on the position of the ship and I also have this radius visualizer and as you can see the expression will come into play just when the spaceship crosses the radius line or the, the flag radius or the force field strength you can name it as you want uh, we, if we increase the, the flag radius on the spaceship it will increase this uh, effect zone and the plan will start to move as I showed you before. Let's just leave it at 300. Perfect. So I'm going to draw a line that represents the distance from the planet to the spaceship. Just like that. Okay, we have that line. And let's assume it's the distance from the spaceship to the planet is 400 pixels. Okay, so I'm going to move, I'm going to get to move this line first and then as I start to move the spaceship nothing will happen and when I cross the line the planet will move. Perfect. So now let's see what's happening to the distance. I'm going to put this on the planet's original position, the white point, and then I'm going to move the line or the other end point of the line to the ship itself, to the position of the ship. Perfect. So now we can see, if you pay attention, we can see that the distance and the angle from the spaceship to the border of the radius is the same that the planet will move. All right. Let me draw another, another line to show you that. Let me just make some zoom. I'm going to draw a line following the same angle as the other one. I'm just doing this by I so it will not be very exact and precise but this is just for you to get an idea let's change the color and just like that all right perfect so I have this another this new line that will be the difference between the radius and the distance from the planet to the spaceship and this difference is the amount that I'm going to add to the planet's position so if I move this over here we can see that the planet is moving this exact same distance again this is line is not very precise because I draw it by hand but you can get you get the idea from it okay so let's try some another example all right let's move it closer but now on the top so this will be the line that's from the planet to the spaceship right there and this will be the line that's from spaceship to the planet 
Now I'm going to keep the same angle and now I'm going to move it again from the center of the original position to the center to the, to the plan. You can see again, this is not very exact again, this is drawn by hand, but you get the idea of what's happening here. So now that we know how the expression works, let's put it on our animation. You can download this entire file from the description of the video for $1. Uh, this will help me to keep making tutorials and it will support me. So I really thank you if you do that. And if you don't or you cannot do that, you can follow along just with your own design or your own shape layers. No, not a problem with that. You can just paste, copy and paste the code from the description as well. So you can do it for free. No problem with that. So now I have this main static composition that nothing will happen, the, the planets won't move, nothing will happen. And the first thing that I want to do is to add the radius control to the spaceship itself. So I'm going to select the spaceship and you have to make sure that the spaceship layer is named spaceship on high caps. So otherwise the expression won't work or you can modify the expression to work with a different layer name. Okay, and then I'm going to effect, I'm going to apply an expression control and slider control. This will help me to increase or decrease the force field radius. I'm going to call it deflect radius, just like that. And ju just leave it at zero for now. Perfect. So now we should copy the expression. Again, you can get it from the comments from sorry for the from the description on the video and just paste it on one on the planet's position just any planet that you want open the position hitting p on the keyboard alt click on the stopwatch and paste the expression now if we move spaceship near the planet nothing will happen because the radius it's it's set at zero so let's set it at 100 and we can see that the planet will move around all right now we have to paste the same expression on all the planets uh, we're not going to do that manually because we will be wasting a lot of time i can just come to the planet with the with expression hit on p and then right click on the position copy expression only and paste it on all the planets so now if we move the spaceship near the planets all the planets will move around it let's increase the radius to 300 all right perfect and it, as you can see the planets will move around let's create an animation real quick let's start on the side let's put a keyframe on spaceship position let's move to around one second i'm going to have this spaceship move in a curved path so just modifying these Bezier handles Let's move it another second, move it around here and let's make it go away of the composition just like that. As you can see this one is not turning into a curve for some reason so I'm going to select the pen tool and turn it into a bezier. There we go. Just like that. Right so we can see now that we have our position animation. For some reason I have the motion blur activated, let me just deactivate that, there we go. Now the spaceship will move around the planets and the planets will move around the spaceship as well. We can see that the spaceship is not rotating which is very weird, uh, it's not pretty realistic. So let's add the rotation. Instead of keyframing the rotation that would be too much of a hassle, let's uh, do another trick. So I'm going to right click on the spaceship layer go to transform auto orient and set it to orient along path and that will orient automatically the spaceship and rotate it automatically as well to the position path okay so now we have our animation complete so as you can see it's quite an easy method you can just copy and paste the expression i hope that the expression explanation was useful to you in case you're interested and again, you can download this project on the description and also copy the expression from the description as well. 
So I hope you like the tutorial and I'll see you on the next one.